Hey guys, welcome to the new Mortal Kombat game, a game I've been waiting for. In the opening scene, you see a lot of carnage laid out on the ground. Uh, it leads up to Shokan and Raiden fighting, Raiden getting his butt whooped. And right before the final blow, Raiden sends a premonition to himself in the past to try to change events. And that leads into the beginning of the tournament. Uh, this game reminded me a lot of Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, the movies, in the beginning of the story mode. Some of the things in this game that reminded me of the movies were the group of the Earth Realm fighters that they had together, which they had in the first movie, obviously. Another thing that reminded me of the first movie was Liu Kang walking through all the monks at the end of the tournament and receiving his uh, rewards for winning. And... Of course, Johnny Cage is even more cockier in the game than he was in the first movie, which I thought was impossible, but somehow they pulled that off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so pretty. And I'm taking you down. I'm taking you down. I'm taking you out. I'm taking you out. And I'm taking you out for dinner. <laughs> Back to story mode. Uh, you, don't, you don't get to pick your character in story mode you follow the earth realm characters uh to start out with which i didn't really care for uh some of them i don't like to play with for example sonya and Liu kane i absolutely hate playing those two characters one too happy about that it works out good for the story mode you get to see some background on the characters and see how some of them met and things like that which was cool but overall didn't care for that i prefer to pick my character and go through the story mode like that I'm just one of those guys, I like a few characters, and that's what I like to stick with. Every character has a new fatality in this game, which I thought was really cool. I was very excited about that. And there is also another thing called X-Ray Moves, which looks like a fatality, but it's not. It does cause a lot of damage. It does show the X-Ray of the person. It shows the bones breaking, which was really freaking cool, I thought. And to use the x-ray move, you have a power bar, which the power bar is broken into three sections. It takes three, the whole power bar, all three sections, to use the x-ray move, which once you fill up the power bar, you can use that at any time. Another thing I did like about that is if you do not want to use it in that first round, it rolls over to the second round, and you can save it for then, too. Also liked the mix that they had in here. It's kind of like they took a mix of Deadly Alliance and Armageddon and mixed it into this new game with with some extra things as well. Uh, some of the old characters that were brought back were Striker and Goro. Of course, all your standard characters are there like Liu Kang, Sonya, Jax, uh, Kung Lao, Scorpion, Sub-Zero. And of course, I got to give it up to my boy Scorpion making the cover of the game and looking all around badass. Uh, you also have a crypt in this game. You had a crypt in Deadly Alliance, which you go there to get alternate costumes, concept art, uh, sometimes new levels you can unlock. And that you unlock those by earning money in story mode. And in other modes like test your might, test your skills, and test your sight. Which test your sight was also in Deadly Alliance. It's that little cup game. You got to find the ball under the cup. Which is pretty cool. Kind of gives you a break from fighting. Test your might is breaking the boards. I believe that one was in Deadly Alliance as well. And there's Challenge Tower, which you obviously start from the bottom to work up. And you have a certain amount of time to perform certain moves. And if you do so, you earn money. The higher up you go the tower, the more money you earn. They also have an online play. In the online, you can play King of the Hill, one versus one, and tag team. Uh, which tag team is a new thing in this game. You can pick two characters and you can switch between them. Uh, King of the Hill is you fight until you're beaten. So you stay there, obviously, on top of the hill until you get beat, which I thought was pretty cool. And when you go into it, you can see people down below kind of watching like they're in a movie theater, in which you get to participate in rating the fight you just watched. So in conclusion, the things I liked were the new fatalities, 
the X-Ray moves, and the King of the Hill, and the tag team match. And the things I didn't like were the rigidness of the characters. And in training mode, you couldn't pick what guy you wanted to train with. You were forced to train with certain characters. Overall, I thought this was a very good game, especially for the older gamers who like the 2D over the 3D environment. If you're this type of gamer, I definitely recommend checking this game out. He was killed by someone named Scorpion. Where would I find him? Try the Colosseum. That's where... You have disturbed our regeneration process. Ermac. Gotcha! Fight! 